Deep in the wilderness of central Pennsylvania, there is an amazing state park that has been built around an old railroad bridge. This bridge began its life in 1881 and was completed in 1882. At the time, it was the highest railroad viaduct in the world. This bridge, which was built of iron, was approximately 301 feet high. To put that into perspective for you, they actually have a model inside the gift shop showing the Statue of Liberty as it would sit underneath the bridge and 2,053 feet long and it weighed 3,105,000 pounds. Unfortunately, within 19 years it became necessary to rebuild the entire structure with steel to accommodate the heavier traffic and heavier trains it was being subjected to. This was accomplished with over 100 men working 10-hour shifts and they amazingly completed the job in 105 days which still having the same measurements, the bridge now weighed over twice the weight at 6,706,000 pounds. The bridge continued its service until 1959 and was eventually adopted as a state park in 1963 with an official opening in 1970. It was later placed on the National Registry of Historic Civil Engineering Landmarks in 1977. It hosted excursion trains in the late 80s and 90s, but by the early 2000s, it was deemed unsafe, and in 2002, all traffic, including pedestrians, were prohibited. In 2003, a restoration project of the bridge began, but sadly, an F1 tornado had other plans, and on July 21st of 2003, over the half the bridge collapsed from the storm, and the Kinzu Bridge would never again host another train or rail car. This, however, was not the end of Kinzu, but rather a new beginning. The remaining section was fully repaired and turned into a skywalk with a 225-foot-high observation deck, opening in September of 2011. Surrounded by amazing trails and beautiful scenery, Kinzu is a must-see for any wilderness, train, or bridge aficionado. The Skyview has a glass viewing station that you can see down through. Unfortunately, there was a fair amount of scratching from traffic, but you can still see through it. It was still really cool. And I think the best part is that they left the collapsed section there uh, right where it fell and you can see it you can even walk down through it there's trails that go down through there and we're going to go down one of these trails in a second so you can see what it's like um, all these concrete bases that you see there they actually had a neat little system they developed to allow it to shift in the wind and there is i believe a section later in the video where you can see how they did it but uh, it's really cool so the trail kind of shifts down through and gives you a really good view of the bottom of the bridge and the large steel um, sections that are holding everything up. It's a nice little trail. I would encourage you to um, be in very good shape. It is pretty steep in spots and there is a lot of uh, heavy rocks to climb down through. I unfortunately didn't get a whole lot of video uh, of the rock section. This is one of the easier places to walk down through, but it gives you a really good view um, without going all the way down to the bottom. So if you were in a wheelchair, for example, you can access much of this section of the trail and get some nice views like this one. This is right under the end of the view, the sky view. Uh, really cool, really high. Uh, you don't really grasp how high it is until you're looking at it from the bottom. Um, from the top, it, it's kind of uh, deceptive. But uh, really nice trail down through here. And this is kind of like the end of the the easy part, I guess you'd call it, of the trail from here. It ends up being some really steep rocks and it just wasn't uh, easy to climb those rocks and hold uh, my cell phone at the same time. We actually got there at a pretty good time of the year. It was towards the fall, the creek was flowing nicely, um, really cool water streaming down through. It was a little bit chilly that day, but it was warmer than uh, most of the days around it. But some really scenic uh, area. And as you can see um, from this end, you actually came around and you can see the collapse section of the bridge. You can walk around it, you can walk up next to it. Uh, just a really amazing sight to see all that weight collapsed. What's left of the other end of the bridge is right up there. And here's a really good view of the stone piers that they went and uh, placed here, uh, poured concrete. A whole lot of uh, weight supporting here. But uh, as you can see on the top, there's a little rollers that allow it to kind of shift back and forth in the wind, I guess you'd say. Um, it's a really amazing setup, especially for the time. Um, they're kind of all rusted solid here now, but 
that's how it would work, how it would kind of vibrate back and forth and keep from uh, destroying the whole structure as the wind hit it. But really an amazing setup. I thought this was a pretty incredible view of the actual structure itself and kind of gives you an idea of how massively big it was. And it's, it's really amazing to stop and think about the hundred of men that created this, that built it, that put it together, that free climbed these uh, steel towers to weld everything back, weld everything together, put everything together, and then create the bridge on top of it. Just a huge amount of work. I really enjoy state parks like this and history like this because it kind of shows what man can accomplish, what we have accomplished as a society. These are no small tasks, no small structures. And this lasted for a lot of years. It was in service for 60 to 80 years and continued as an entertainment center for a lot of years. And then even after um, Mother Nature took its course and dropped half of it, it got rebuilt as an awesome state park with a nice sky view. It really is a great place to see, it really is a great sight to see. And um, definitely a lot of history here. And quite often when I look at something like this, I, I think about the people that were involved, the everyday person who came out here to do a job, had family at home, maybe a wife, maybe children, you know, what happened to their lives? How did they continue on after this? What other structures did they build? You know, what kind of contributions did they have? This contribution alone is just incredible. Just the amount of work that went into it. And uh, definitely, definitely recommend you go check it out. Yeah.